There are many drivers for automation today, and there's nothing new uh, in the world of business. It's been around for a long time. What's really interesting, though, is a combination of, I think, one of the trends we talked about last year, software defined everything, that really being taken on board, becoming mainstream, combined with new ways of delivering, such as DevOps, really meaning that IT organisations are thinking for the first time, how do they really bring things together and deliver in a, in a, in a different way and with a real view on, on driving business outcome uh, with, with real agility. There are many candidates for automation, uh, be it across a business process or even an IT service delivery uh, activity. I mean, the key is to focus on activities which are somewhat mundane, repetitive, perhaps policy-based. And really, if I were to start anywhere, I would start with the simple. Um, and then look to really exploit more complex processes and look across the organisation for those sorts of candidates. Automation is undoubtedly going to impact workforce and talent strategies of any IT organisation. Really the focus is going to move from the tasks required to be executed and much more to really thinking through and understanding the manner in which automation can be applied to a specific process or set of processes. DevOps is really exciting, particularly in the role that it will play in underpinning the move to automation. Really, breaking down the barriers between the development shop and the, and the operations shop and driving closer collaboration with a focus on delivering faster business outcomes with greater agility underpinned by tool sets that automate those processes is just a fabulous opportunity for most IT organisations today. In our Tech Trends paper, we highlight three possible options for rolling out and adopting automation across an organisation. But across all of those three options, there are some fundamental principles. The first one being, keep a holistic view. You know, and secondly, try to avoid siloed thinking look for automation opportunities that engage the whole organisation and, and really maximise the value of automation to the organisation. One of the great things about automation as well, I guess when budgets are tight, is this can be self-funding. It's a great way to get budget and get some traction with some, some real use cases that deliver value to the business. And finally, when thinking about automation, it's important not to introduce new cyber risks into the organisation. 